Mathazar is a new open source application for working with data. It lets you quickly enter your data and analyze your data. Simply set up a new database or connect to your existing Postgres database. Any changes in the database will automatically be reflected within Mathazar. And since the UI is straightforward, you can open up access to anyone you like. If you can use a spreadsheet, you can use Mathazar. Take a look for yourself. Let's see how a small library can move away from using spreadsheets and instead manage day-to-day -day operations using Mathisar to benefit from structured and consistent data. To begin, we'll import our library's existing inventory from our spreadsheet into an items table. See that? Mathisar's automatically recognized the types of data in each column. And if you need to make changes, you can easily adjust your data types. But there's an issue with this data. We can see that some fields, like author names, have duplicated information. With Mathazar, storing data in only one place and linking to it is easy. Let's take the author first name and author last name columns and create a new linked table named Authors. Now, see that those two columns in Items have been replaced by a single Author column. When we navigate to the Authors table, we see that there's only a single entry for each individual author. If we update the entry here, it'll automatically update everywhere in the items table. To make linked records easier to identify, you can configure them to display however you want. Let's set the author to display both first name and last name. We're back at the items table. Whoops, we forgot to select the author website column when creating the authors table. That's okay. We can easily move it to the correct table now. Pretty straightforward, right? Well, we've still got repetitive data in a couple more columns. Let's create separate tables for publishers and books following the same process as authors. Okay, now let's try entering some data. The library just received a new book by Jim Butcher. We'll create a new book in line using the existing author and publisher records. Pretty quick. Now we want to start to track circulation. We'll create a new patrons table using data imported from our spreadsheet, and then let's create a new table for checkouts. Let's add the columns we need. Our library wants to track which item's being checked out, who's checking it out, when it was checked out, when it's due, and when the item was checked back in. Great, now our table's set up with all the fields we need. When a patron comes up to the circulation desk to borrow a book, we'll add a new entry to the checkouts table. If we have multiple copies of a book, we can use the barcode to uniquely identify the item. A week later, they're back to return the book. We'll find the patron record by name, and we can see a list of all their checkouts. We can filter the checkouts here to see only the ones that haven't been returned. And now it's easier to scan. We can mark this one as returned by setting the check-in time to now. Okay, now let's see how analyzing data works in Mathazar. Our library wants to track overdue books. Let's do that by opening up the Data Explorer and building an exploration. We'll start from patrons, add their name and email, then a book title, due date, and check-in time. This gives us all checkouts. We want only overdue books, so let's add filters for due dates, before today, and empty check-in times. We'll also hide the due date and check-in time columns since we don't need them in the result. Voila! Now we can see all overdue books summarized by patron. Let's save this as overdue book report. We can access any time from the navigation or schema page, and it'll always be up to date. But sometimes you want to explore your data in very specific ways, right? With Mathazar, you could do just that by creating explorations directly from tables. Let's say our library is curious about how many books are being checked out each month. To find out, simply group the checkouts table by month and use the handy summarize option. You'll see a compact monthly summary in the data explorer, which you can also save. For the technically minded, here's how Mathazar works. Under the hood, Mathazar is an interface to a Postgres database. If you use the Mathazar UI to link a table, you're creating a foreign key constraint in the database. If you restrict a column to unique values, you're creating a unique constraint. 
Column data types are validated at the database level, including our custom types like emails and URLs. It works the other way too. You can use SQL to augment your Mathazar workflows. You can use Mathazar with the thousands of tools that integrate with Postgres to get deeper insights into your data. You could even build custom software that works in tandem with Mathazar. We've just released the alpha version of Mathazar. We're just getting started. In the near future, we plan to help you create forms, build workflows using formulas and external integrations, visualize your data in different ways, and much, much more. Visit mathazar.org to learn more about Mathazar and check out our live demo. We'd love for you to try Mathazar out and tell us what you think.